everyone, Nina here. Thanks for joining me today to create this amazing art journal for Valentine. I'm going to make it for my sister-in-law and I'm going to fill it all with my pictures and hers. Hopefully she's not going to be watching this so it does not spoil the surprise. I used my Cricut machine and I found this image of a bike with the pieces and I got them all cut using lawn fawn cardstock that I'm going to be linking down below along with all the materials and tools that I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to take my time and stick all the pieces of the bikes together. I also uh, made something like an offset, a bigger outline of the bike from white cardstock. And I'm going to stick the whole bike after I stick it together, its pieces together. I'm going to stick the whole thing and glue it to that uh, white background of uh, the bike. It's just a little bit of an outline about, uh, around the bike to make it stand against the whatever background that I'm going to use. Here I'm just using my Nouveau glue so I can attach the pieces together. Here are the wheels and then the, the body of the bike from pink. The, the colors are brighter than this, but this section of the video, the lighting is not so amazing. In later parts of the video, you're going to see how bright the colors are. Here is the part where I stick the whole bike to the white outline. See, it makes it stand more. Then I'm going to add uh, the seat and the pedal and the handle of the bikes from a sort of a turquoise color uh, that matches the um, Doodlebug Lots of Love blue. Since I'm going to use the new release from Doodlebug Design, Lots of Love. Here I then cut another cover page from Lawn Fawn Spiffy Speckles collection pack, this paper. I have a lot of uh, of this pack. I never stop using them. All the colors are amazing. So I just cut the cover and then I use uh, peacock feathers just to ink around the edges and also I cut a strip from the same collection from green just to make the grass area. I did draw an outline of the same end of the page, the, the bike wheels, so I would match the bottom of the cover and then I just used my pencil and I roughly drew a hill side that is going to be below the bike. Then I'm using crushed olive uh, distress ink to ink the edges. And then I'm going to use my glue and stick the grass directly to the uh, cover. The blue represents the sky and the, uh, the hill side here is green, sort of grassy hill side or a grassy color hill side. Then I'm going to stick the whole thing to the thick cover. I want the pages to be sturdy because I don't want I don't want them to be flimsy. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use my cinch machine to make to punch the holes and uh, bind these pages together. So here is my cinch machine. I did um, you're supposed to be uh, pulling out all the buttons that you don't need to use and I'm also I'm only going to use these three um, punch hearts only three I did make a template just to show you and to make it easier for me uh, I made a template and I found the center where I want the middle punch uh, to punch see I'm gonna show you now only three punch will uh, make three only three holes so I did pull out all the others because I don't want to use them and I only push these three I am making a, and I did put a washi tape over here to know where I should exactly place my cover and with the help of the stopper on the left I'm going to place my cover exactly where I want it to be and then I'm going to punch and only those three holes will be punched you cannot make a mistake like uh, once you have this uh, marks with the washi tape it makes it way easier see now it did punch exactly where i want it to be just like the template then now i am ready to stick my bike i'm just gonna directly glue it i didn't want to punch um, with the bike glued on top so i don't so I don't sort of press on the bike parts or anything. I want it to look nice. And then I'm just going to glue everything. And here is how it looks. Look how bright the colors are. The lighting here is better. Look how beautiful everything is. 
Then I'm going to bring my doodle bug collection that I always put in this binder. And I'm going to put flowers in the basket and I'm gonna decorate it a little bit here and there. I'm going to start with these flower enamel stickers. And I'm gonna take a couple branches, these green branches, they are very delicate, so you really need your uh, tool in one to use, to, to help you to remove the sticker from the release paper. And I'm going to randomly add these two um, branches, uh, leaves, and then I'm going to add a couple of flowers. There was also a um, sort of a teal flower, but I didn't want to add it since it's going to be lost with the background. So I decided to add the pink and the yellow uh, flowers. Also going to add a couple leaves here and there just to decorate my bike more. And some leaves also on top of the basket, as if they're coming out of the basket. And then I'm going to choose a sentiment. I did try to choose many here, but then I decided by the end that I'm going to wait until I finish the whole book. So I know what I actually need to use inside. Maybe I'll use um, half a sentence outside and then the rest is going to be uh, completed on the inside page. So I opted to wait. I'm not going to put any sentiment for now. Then I'm getting my enamel hearts also from the same collection. Doodlebug, you're gonna find it linked down below and I also did show a hole where I unboxed everything. I'm gonna link it on top, uh, on the right top corner. Uh, so if you watch it, if in case you want to check all the, uh, the collection. And then I found these uh, cute leaves that I'm going to add also to the bike. Also added the um, cardstock sticker of um, a flower bouquet. And then I'm going to add a little red flower on top of them, on top of the leaves. And I'm going to use a very thin strips of foam tape behind the two sides of my basket. Uh, and then I'm going to place it on the basket so it is raised a little bit. Just give fun dimension to my cover page. Um, this is just part one. In part two, I'm going to uh, use more cardstock to make uh, to to glue to the inner pages, and we're going to be using a lot of the ephemera that came with the Lots of Love Doodlebug collection. It is gonna be an amazing project, and I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna have my photos printed and ready so we can place them wherever we find suitable. Uh, for this. Uh, it took some time uh, in this video to create the pages and to cut the templates and also to show you how to use the cinch machine. So I'm going to keep it short and I'm going to make the other pages in a different video. Also, the, here's how the details are. Look how beautiful the flowers are, the little uh, love letters and the bouquet. It all looks so beautiful. Now we're going to, to use the same technique. To punch the rest of the pages these are the inner pages of the album then i'm going to show you how to bind the whole book together the binding wire comes in like long wire like this and you can cut it as many as you want so i have three holes and i choose three rings you cut it in the middle um, before and after then using the straight side you put it inside the side of the uh, cinch machine. Before binding your uh, album, make sure that you take the last page and put it on the front. So I will show you why. When the booklet is closed, the joint will not show on the outside. And then place everything in the ring. Take the whole ring together along with your pages and put it on the other side, the um, binding side of the cinch, mach cinch machine and then put it to the thickness of your ring and then just press it like this. Take care of your fingers when you're pressing it on this side and here the rings. And when you close the last page, the joint is inside. You cannot see it from the outside. I'm going to show you now. When I open the album, it is going to show how it looks from the inside it's on the last page. See, the joint is not showing. It's in the last page. 
it's here. You cannot see it from the outside. It makes the album more finished. Look at the details, the finished rings. The album looks just so cute. I can't wait to continue and finish the whole thing in part two. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. I will leave you now with some images and I will catch you in part two. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.